Okay, last slide. Computation transforms industries, just transforms industries, okay? And you probably know that. It's called disruptive technology, okay? So here's an example. Digital, here's, here's just some examples, not all, but here's some examples of the industries that have been transformed. Digital, audio, and music industries. Can you imagine trying to be an editor of you know, the next big Beyonce hit if you didn't have a computer to go back and do this? You had to actually have it on tape and listen to it and go back on tape and be cutting and mixing with analog tape? Hard. And you're having loss in the process because it's all analog and the next generation it, it has more noise than the earlier generation? No. Not a, nobody right now in the, in the digital audio editing process doesn't use a computer. Everyone uses a computer. They all have a big screen and the waveforms and they're cutting and blending and mixing and hearing it. Oh, that's too low. Raise that up. And it's just so beautiful to watch the process of the editors use the computers for these things. Transform the industries in ways that have, and transform the industry not just in how to mix it, but how to, how to ship it, right? Now you give them MP3 file, the WAV file, back to the artist. The artist can now decide, put it on the internet for free, it now goes viral, and in one day, there's songs on every person's ears in the world. Are you kidding me? How, the fact that this is digital, this is also part of Blown to Bits. By the way, we encourage you to read Blown to Bits. That's part of that is saying when things go to become bits, things just change. That that artist can share that song, and the next day, the whole world can hear it. Are you kidding me? Could never have happened with physical media, with non-computers, and not transformed. So it's totally transformed the audio industry. How about digital images? How about the idea that you can't trust images anymore? I can take a picture, I can Photoshop in different things, I can put a Bigfoot, you know, sometimes I found Bigfoot. Oh yeah, right, Photoshop. I mean, you have all these things. Oh, here's a beautiful, beautiful model. Oh yeah, Photoshop, right? The idea that you can't trust pictures anymore has transformed all of photography, all of print media. The idea that you can just keep editing and editing and editing rather than having to go back to the dark room and do that is it's just, no one wants to do that anymore. Digital effects and animation. I did my PhD in computer graphics. So the idea that you would have an animation hand drawn, and that's nice, except that if I want to do a th full, fully capture a 3D scene with lighting that feels realistic, to have to draw that, the artistic ability to have to draw the next Snow White is just unbelievable. To get the lighting right, Snow White's rendered very flat, actually, very pretty flat. Because it's really hard to do the subtle shading on how the shadows fall on Snow White's dress. But the computer just says, oh, what? here's a shape, here's a lighting simulation, boom, all of a sudden you have all the beautiful subtle textures of a pattern print as she dances and swirls in a dance. Are you kidding me? How hard that would be without a computer? Transform the computer like you can't even imagine. And the idea that you can have asset management as you're making 3D models and as you're rendering them and changing the lights, all that is all done with computers. Effects, every single movie you see in the summers now have digital effects to remove the wires from the stunt people or to add a monster like in the battle botsy kind of a thing, you end up having uh, almost all the blockbusters in the summer have tre tremendous um, digital enhancements to them. So it's completely changed the effects industry. And here's just a beautiful picture of a 3D jack, just in terms of the 3D, in terms of the, the do-it-yourself space. Think about the do-it-yourself space that now people can design something and like a jack and then print it and in fact, as a surprise, watch this. I have for you some things that we have, I have printed on my personal printer. Hope I can get this in picture. This is a Taurus knot. This is in terms of creativity and transforming industries. The do-it-yourself industry. I've, on my own printer is a Taurus knot. Look at this. This is a beautiful uh, set of, uh, of pyramids that are intertwined and locked together. I could pass these around as well. I'm just hoping to get this on camera. This is a shape called the Menger cube. And if you turn it around, if you slice it, it ends up having a beautiful pattern in the back that I had never even imagined. If I, unless I had sliced it and printed it myself, I wouldn't have seen. And this is now three intersecting dodecahedron. Just beautiful. So in terms of transforming the do-it-yourself space and the creative artistic math and art space, I would never be able to, to scope this. But it, I now can, in my home, design this and print it, and it's amazing. So it's transformed that industry as well. And finally, before we go to the, before we end up at, at the last, the last thing to say about computation and creativity and computational artifacts is that you can explore real and virtual phenomena. So you can use computation to explore real phenomena like weather and run a simulation, like traffic and run a simulation, other things. You can use it to drink in data and get down there. But you can also explore virtual phenomena. 
which kind of connects with my 3D sense. But you can, you can create a 3D world that's never been thought of before. And you're using the computation and software to build the 3D world, to render the 3D world, and now I'm hearing that the new Oculus Rift VR allows you to explore it in a virtual space. I can't wait. They've talked about having virtual movies now, VR movies, where you're putting on the lens and you're watching a movie, but you're in the space. And so there was a demo that somebody showed where a bull came at them, and everyone who had the lenses on felt the bull was coming at them. Some person actually fell back like, ah! I mean, the level of engagement when you're there rather than passively thinking, oh, it's happening to the actors. No, it's happening to me. Imagine that space. So that, and that, all those are virtual phenomena they're creating. So the idea is computation can be used for all of these wonderful things. Creativity is about your own personal expression. Collaboration is part of the successful thing, way that teams work together using tools to make these artifacts together. And once you've made the artifacts, you can analyze them in many ways. And in summary, we have transformed industries. Computation is just amazing, folks. All right, that's the last lecture on creativity. We'll see you next time.